Another job the bad dog biter will help you with is putting a gauge in a dash, putting in a marker light. What you don't want to do is take your plasma cutter out and try to cut that hole because it'll burn the paint back. Your hole saws usually leave a little bit of a burr more than you probably want. This is how easy it is with a bad dog biter. First, find the hole size you want. Luckily, my gauge came with the uh, thing to mount it. That is the perfect hole size right there. And then you draw your circle. And remember, you want to cut all the way to the outside edge because you want it to be the exact size of this. And then get yourself a step drill or, a, or any drill up to ha a half inch hole is what you need. So you can make it with 3 8 And now, it's just a matter of tracing that hole out. Remember, go slow when you do this because if you're working on your car fender, you might want to practice it once before you go out and do it. The slower you go, the more control you have. Now you can see, I left the red line. You should take that right off. And the nice thing about the bad dog biter is you can go in here and you can trim off as much as you want or as little. And there you go.